I like to cut them open and take the copper out of them. The least expensive way to do that uh, is plasma cutting. And if you did it right, it doesn't take much to pop the top. There's always a steel line that connects the uh, bottom half to the top half. In this case, I already cut it with the plasma cutter. I constantly see people uh, using a drill with an adapter in it. Um, this 12-volt impact from the wall is what you really need. It'll, uh, prevent you from stripping things out and uh, it'll get uh, the screws and nuts and bolts off uh, way easier than uh, doing it with a drill. And once you get the top off and the cover off, uh, these usually come oh, yeah, right apart. Look at all that. Good cover. And normally you can just turn this piece upside down and you get everything that's left, uh, which is really all uh, cast iron. There's not much there. Uh, and, and there's normally not much you can uh, take off of the remaining pieces. Uh, I took this crankshaft uh, end cap off and uh, do the old magnet check, and it appears to be aluminum, so I'll put it over in my aluminum bucket. And there's a fat piece of aluminum on both ends of uh, this. I uh, have not figured out how to get it off without melting it off, but I'll keep you updated.